Oh, I see him on the boy. You bagging? He's, having, he's having that one. He's having that one. Yeah, boy. Go on. I love it. <laughs> I, I love it. Go oh, on. Oh, that was perfect. Mate. Slap it again, oh. Slap if it doesn't it. have it in like five seconds, slap it again. That was perfect. It's like not, not moving oh, your flow. Mate. That was just the carp was clumsy then and didn't have it, wasn't it? Yeah, it went, yeah, like it's real, didn't it? So, I'm a bit sad on this podcast. Why? I've not got any, like, good, I can't think of any so good stories So we're going to come yet. to you in a bit after we've done our waffling and see what, what yeah. the carp has got to offer. Go on, what, what we're just talking about, tell you some nice stories, then. That's what it's going to yeah. be. Yeah, I'm hoping that it'll, like, spur something I'll rem remember right. one, but it's sort of, what we're we like, weird, forgotten... We're methods. going nostalgic again. Yes. In the venues that we've been to, or even just venues we've heard of or whatever else, and methods that were popular, dominated, whatever else, just used just, at places because... Yeah. Right. Some, go on. I'm just thinking, you mentioned in the Vintage Challenge, yeah. down at, was it Viaduct, where they were using super soakers and stuff? No, that was just down south. Down, down south what, in general. What was that about? Cause I, I, splash. I, noise. Right, that, start with that, because that's just got me a whole new avenue then. Yeah. It was, yeah. Water pistols, noise at your float. Just water, not like flavour or no, anything just like water. that. water. Super soakers. They and it wasn't even that. a gimmick, was it? You would have thought, like, oh, April Fool, but it wasn't. They were generally rocking up with, like, big super soldiers, like that, yeah. just firing at the pole tip yeah. and laying the lip big in. Yeah. Whether it's happened. because you couldn't slap or tap or something, I don't know, or maybe before even that. It was a way of making about. noise without feeding, wasn't it? Yeah. And we thought that was the way to go. But and it, then, it wasn't F1s, though, either. It wasn't no, F1s, it was, it was car, car, wasn't it? Now, I never saw that happening. I did see a Woodland View cupping in liquid. That used to be a massive thing. See, what's the, is it CSL, CSL yeah, all yeah. sorts of, th all sorts of lotions and potions at Woodland View. I'm, I'm still convinced there. there's mileage in that though. Maybe, but back in the day they were doing what, it keep big Keeping the time. water column? No, just having attraction without having feed in your peg. So your hook bait's the only solid. Yeah, because we, we've, we've probably, we've have we told that this. story? Yeah, we told that story yeah. lots about yeah, yeah, yeah. feeding all the red betaine at yeah. Erin Brock and they were all over the top. Yeah. But yeah, that was a big thing. But some wacky weird ones. I'm very much going down the bread-based stories. Oh, yeah. Because I can think of loads. Do you know what I mean? There was Newley's got to be the first one spoken to at uh, Tunnel Barn. Absolutely taking the mick out of all the matches with Is his bread. You, like putting loads of bread in? Like loose feed, sloppy bread. bread. You used to have a bucket, like your bucket there, bucket full of bread, all liquid eyes, minging, sloppy. It, he was fishing, pay shallow with bread. That's oh, what really? he was doing. And this is like yeah. years ago. Oh, man. I, I you, sort of remember it. I he think. used to take the mick at Tunnel Barn. It was so good. I had a few other venues, but Tunnel was the one. Right. Sloppy bread, and it was just chaos. People started, like, everyone used to try and do it. He was the best at it, and lots of people used to try and do it, and it just, people looked like they'd been plastering everywhere. <laughs> there was just carnage. <laughs> but it was good. It was right going back. Oh, bloody hell. Well, that, that was the first bready thing. The next one was, you know, I can't remember the bloke's name. I'm sure it was Dave, someone. And it was at Brookside, and it was the best of swear fishing I've ever seen that he used to ship out with a rig on. He'd have a rig about that big, yeah. with a float this deep, with a flake of bread on. 10 right. inch deep with a bit of bread? Yeah, not even that, just a little rig. So I don't know how deep, shallow, really shallow. Big flake of bread. And he'd have a slice of bread on the end of his pole. So he'd just impale a slice of bread on the end of his pole. <laughs> yeah? Then he'd ship out. <laughs> what, on his pole tip? Oh, just ram it on. <laughs> Spike the bread. Do you know what I mean? Just get him fed. Spike the bread, and he'd go out, and he'd feed this bread. He'd put the bread in, and he'd push it into the into a burrow somewhere. It was like fished into the reed behind reeds and all. Yeah, you'd push it into, the, into wherever, into an hole. But then the bread, he'd have a hole in the middle of the bread. Yeah? So he'd like balance this bread bit on, on the end of his pole. He'd put his rig in the middle of the slice. Plumbing That's it there. That it was genius. so good. It was just... <laughs> clong, <laughs> and of course, when that breaks up, all your bread's baking up, so it's like yeah. feeding it and everything, It was, because float breaks were allowed back. This is proper... Yeah, books 10, 15, 15 years ago. Oh, it's more than 15, that, 20. 20, I'm going to say, definitely. Uh, it was so good. I so, do that. That's all I that's do. That's amazing. I love that. <laughs> bread ones, one that comes to my mind is uh, Wendy Locker at Hayfield. Oh, we're going to go into that next. Were you actually? Yeah, that... Hey, what, what, you what did about they call it? it? It's a bread or a summit roll, wasn't they it? They called it something, though. cigar That's it. Yeah, I remember that. It's one biggest fish. Yeah, and they'd have... They'd roll a slice of bread. They'd put the rig, all it was was a big, dirty hook, and they'd put it through the slice of bread, so your hook's dangling out the back of it. Yeah. And then you'd wrap your bread up like a cigar, so it was right, your lime run through the middle of it, and your hook hung out the end. It was like a lure, wasn't it? And then they'd sort of like twisted the lime round. Yeah, twist the lime round it to keep it on. Almost like sea fishing where you're wrapping on Yeah, like wrapping on your lazy and bait. Yeah. And they just used to launch it into the middle on these like carp rods. And the carp would come up and suck, and they'd eat your hook by accident, wouldn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll zzzz. It's on. Yeah, it's one biggest fish. Did he? When they do that in a fish or final? 
She did, in, definitely in the final. I can't remember who won it. I think it might be the year. Ringer won it. I don't know. No, she it wasn't. definitely caught, but it was it not? Uh, Jeff Ringer won it. Yeah. Is it Jeff Ringer? Go on, huh? He nailed one. He's in. Uh, well, right, okay, one. yeah, so, but no, she's definitely got biggest fish for yeah, it. But it was a hayfield method, that wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah it was. That was a all floaty baits, baits on them. Baits, it was, wasn't it? Fish was all up. That's another one. We could talk about floaty baits and floaty poles, can't we, on there? Floaty That's where poles. it all started, wasn't it? The original and Nathan floaty poles. And Rob, Rob Itchins won it, and Steve Cook Was that first it? place, though? Now, I'm going to say a place called hey, hey, Hayford. Hayford in the 16 metre wide snake lakes. Yeah. And 60 metres back then, it was like a lot of pole. It was a lot of pole, whatever you won it. Uh, yeah, and I'm sure. Flipped. I'm sure it was the Dorking lot who sussed it, like the likes of Will. Uh, they used to go and float the pole in the, in the reeds. I can remember Will winning one of the Super League rounds on it. Did they? It's That's like what they did. The it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So is it base, does it basically end up like a no float rig where it you was? Got that, yeah, no it was float yeah, line, but, but like you just, just, just hook themselves pole against the pole. Yeah, you physically did. You lay your pole. You had to take your pole up, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You just lay it on the water. Garbolino did a 20 meter 20 floating pole, didn't he? You just used to keep going. I remember fishing an ACA Masters on Hayfield when all the coys were in. This is like going back years when they were all like little babby ones. I think the fish were like England youth team. And Stuart Conroy won on the floating pole on the Island Lake. Did he? Yeah, but like down in the 60s somewhere. Right. He smashed it at 140 pounds, but it was all like little babby coys like this. Amazing. Yeah. Do you reckon you're catching that now? I'm going to just spook off it. They don't eat your bait anymore. Do they, no, they I don't, don't come in to feed anymore. I don't think you would. I remember when he got banned at Morlands, John Talbot, when he used to run Morlands. He banned it there and then because I think everyone caught certainly well over hundred pound. Most well, caught over stupid. 150. And it just took him that long to weigh in. He's like, right, this is banned. And he banned it there and then. <laughs> Can't be doing that. Yeah, Taking six hours I to weigh. That. <laughs> What's it? I was like just fishing normal, like catching fifty pounds. Like, I've had a lovely day of fishing. But now if you just <laughs> That'd be equivalent of going then with the kit you've got now because your poles are so much better. Oh, Go on, no. <laughs> he's he's one. Away, Has he mugged one? one? I think so. And slapping. Yeah, it would be. Imagine slapping now back then. Oh, Has he got oh that? mate, oh, it fell off. Is that oh, my rig? No, he's all good, that one. <laughs> you heard? Yeah, no, it would be. Definitely. Um, oh, that was a proper funky what, method. What's another one I was going to say? When was it? Mass fished on Sunday. I was chatting to the bloke. Next peg. And... It is fishing is one of those weird things that everyone's searching for the ultimate method, but if you find it, it ruins it. Yeah. Why like, does everyone does it? You mean? No, just if you found a, something that caught fish every time and was perfect, then fishing becomes so boring and repetitive and stuff like that. You almost need to be a bit rubbish mm -hmm. for it to work because fishing used to be better like, when it, we were worse at it, yeah, especially like bait wise. Actually, yeah. Because there's there's a bloke at Coleman's, um, the farmer. Yeah. All oh, right. And yeah. It was I've on some story about him. Because he he'd literally rock up with a sit, sat on a toolbox and like with a fly rod, a reel. It, yeah. No, it was a rod with elastic on a reel. Oh, that was it. Like proper random as anything, yeah. and he'd just take the piss. Like he used to put an additive on. Yeah, this like was a thing. Like an actual real scary it was a additive. Cloudy thing, wasn't it? That used to go in the water. But like. it was something that, or they reckon it was something that had come from like farming, because from that sort of a tractor yeah. and stuff like that that no one else could get because it was something he was putting in his ground bait. He just like literally ended up with every fish it in the lake in his peg. Pissed, didn't he? Yeah. But there's something going on at the moment in in the sort of carpy side of things that oh, with yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. told us about that though, didn't like it? pheromones and stuff yeah. like that. That apparently it's something they put or this is what they say. I don't know how true it is that it, they can put in ground bait. It's something that like a pheromone that triggers the carp to spawn. So it's like really bad for him. It's no like because you're basically forcing them to spawn when they don't want to. Yeah. But it just brings every fish into into that sort of area. Does it? So if it's... But that's like a prime example, isn't it? That if you yeah, use it, it just ruins fishing. Yeah. That can mess things right I think right it's ban up, it? banned anyway. It's dodgy as anything. Is but it? Yeah, it's not good for them in any way, shape or form, but no, that's that all the exist. rumors yeah, going like around. Yeah, that's a whole new level. that's what like overshotting's done. Made I know, it too but efficient and too good. And it has. I mean, obviously, if you go into that, I, it's something that I couldn't do day in, day out, going to that venue. And obviously, there's a few anglers that like to do it. Every now and again, obviously, on the big qualifiers, you get to do it because you've got to do it sometimes, yeah. haven't you? But it's not something that you could do. Well, do you think it's made the fish harder to catch? I do. Oh, 100%. Hasn't it? Absolutely, 100%. It, the difference, because obviously, I always go through it when I'm coaching. I set three normal rigs up, uh, no, two normal rigs. So a through the water one, an inline debris one and then the no float one. And how hard it is, like, you generally wouldn't think there's anything there on the float ones. Like, yeah. this odd bike, you don't think there's anything there. Like, put the no float rig on, ding! Oh. Just get towed in, it's ridiculous. So, but, yeah, yeah. does that make them hard? It still doesn't mean they make some hard to catch. It just means you didn't catch them back in the day. 
Do you know what I mean? Yeah. What has that what has that method done? Overshot it in whatever form it may be. Yeah, well you still caught them back in the day doing it, wouldn't you? Oh, you'd caught millions back in the day yeah. doing it, but did you just used to catch less then and be happy what you were catching on a float? Yeah, probably. Lovely days fishing, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? And when yeah, you yeah, didn't yeah. catch shallow on a float, it was just the not shallow today. Yeah. Whereas now you have that to Oh right, yeah, it's lifting. Yeah. Yeah. I did you, you just was ignorance bliss back in day? Yeah, probably was. It was, it? I think it was. Yeah. No, I suppose, on that. Yeah, I suppose that's one of those where it's, if it is too efficient, it almost cancels out everything else. So you can't fish a different match and compete. You've literally got to do that, and that's the only option. Yeah, I think that's that good. That, that's, that's the point it's getting additive. to. Yeah. What other weird things? Uh, right, bagging so, wagglers. Bagging. Oh yeah, I bagging wagglers. Do that. I remember the first time I ever went to Drayton, like after watching Steve Ringle on there smashing it to bits. I had a Barclays match on there, so I'm going back probably 20 years, 25 years or something. And you actually had a real job. I actually had a real job. Ordered a, a one pound uh, Tesco barbel rod, what he used to use. Did Met you? the bloke there who made the uh, the bagging wagglers. Oh, yeah, his big, name? I, it wasn't um, John Bonney, was it? No, I can't remember his, his name. Uh, and I, I'd also got some white boilies, you know, <laughs> recommended by Ringer. Use, it? And yeah. do you know, we used to spike them, you know, yeah. with the, the, uh, the hooks, snip a little bit off. And then just to use that as a spike. So I'll whip some of these up and I drew, I didn't draw well. I didn't draw on the boards. I drew like in the narrow bit. So it's like long walk on the boards and sort of like going back round. And he only caught one on it. I was gutted, like chucked it all day and then caught one was, on it. That was another thing back in the day though. Massive, massive amount of prep that you didn't have a clue what you were prepping oh, no. for. I did at Larford. My biggest story at Larford was, it was a fish show. A qualify for fish out and Will and all them were taking the mick on that big waggle yeah. with brown bait. Yeah. So I went there, yeah, I can do this. I didn't have a clue what I'll do, but I remember mixing two full buckets of ground bait. Must cost me about 50 quid. I didn't have a clue what I was doing. Oh, it was just mate. bait flying everywhere. <laughs> but you put so much effort into it, don't yeah, you? You're like, yeah, yeah. yeah, I can do this. I caught a roach. I remember catching a roach. That was it. I know, it's gutted. You're like, convinced I was going to like empty it and catch like 400 pounds. Like, like I Steve missed that. Does, I know. That was the unknown. I, was in time I tried to do it at Boddington's, but it was just got sort of like going out then. Was it? Uh, another one I'm going to mention is um, Method on the Pole at Cudmore on the oh, New Pools. Remember right. that? Yeah. That was, a, but it used to work really well. So like these reeds had really overgrown down the edges on the New Pools at Cudmore Ridge, and they were so clever they wouldn't come right into shallow water. You had to fish on the edge of them, but you put a normal rig in, you couldn't catch them. No. Far look everything. Put Method on and just wait. My dad was amazing at it. Yeah. And his pebble. Remember him on his pebble? He used to fish like pebble. Just like literally find a stone, just like drill it, and then like super glue like a swivel into it. Well, it was like a camouflage length. Yeah, and just fish like a nut length off it. And he smashed loads of people up on that. Did he? Oh, Daddy, he may smash them up on Pebble. Yeah, smashed loads. But the Method one, if you lost a fish on that, like top There's a chance of death. I remember watching Lewis fish Method on a pole. On he just snapped his top kit over his knee. He went for it. It was nearly taking him out. I remember doing it at Heronbrook on Nine Canal, and he was doing it across. And when you pull out of one, it's not nice, oh, is no. it? No, it's no, at the no, end of no. the world. Get ready. Panic. It Get is, ready. isn't it? Black Hydro days as well. Like, Imagine it now with heavy slick, with hybrid stuff that flies at you. Especially when you like it's tensioning up more because you didn't have pull kits oh, back in the day either. Pole's gone, hasn't it? Yeah, definitely. Or oh, you're gone. Yeah. Um, um, I'm going. I'm going to go right back. Yeah, go ahead, the boy. That's it. Keep it nice that, and low. Well, that looks Snare the carp. Um, swing tips and spring tips oh, and like double hooking. I mean, obviously double hooking is still a thing, but other than the northwest, no one does it. No. So like using two hooks to obviously catch two fish, uh, but spring tips, so you like get these rods, we'll have to do like one of these, you get like an eye in your rod that had a screw bit in, and then yeah. you just used to screw your swing tip or your spring tip or, in. Yeah, you Remember can put that? either. It's amazing. I used to have, Love it was an old rods. fashioned horrible rod that my granddad gave me, Go on, or like a poker, <laughs> but then I'd put a quiver tip in the end of it. So it'd be like the rods like that, and but then it's weird, wasn't it? Because like when it bend round, you just get your line. So you tip it round in, and you get your line going yeah, right down because the there's no eye in the tip. Now, was there? It? It's amazing. <laughs> well, and the bites on the swing tip were just like, ah, <laughs> he's on. We'll have to do a cart back to the swing tip, <sighs> wouldn't it? Can you still get them? I've still got them. Yeah, have you? Me and still, still got one. Definitely, still got the screwy in rods. Oh, cool, I know. But you, you could budge it and have the sidewinder ones, couldn't you? That went on. Clipped onto the side of your rod. Yeah, oh, we used, we used well, to have them, float, them floats on the feeder. Polaris. Remember them? With the yeah. Polaris. Polaris floats. Chuck it yeah. in like a feeder and like pay the yeah. line out. Yeah, Polaris. Lock slide. Well, that, that's no, where the Polaris death and lock slide. Come from, isn't it? It? Yeah, lock slide was a little sort of uh, V shaped thing that you put that's it through, it. wasn't it? And the Polaris was like the spiral. Yeah. Right, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that locked, wasn't it? it just for the, just took a feeder in, didn't you? But for those who like watching a float, that was it, wasn't it? But you could do it, do it with a feeder on or anything, couldn't you? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 
Um, what other ones I remember were when I was in I when I first worked you in the carping. I don't know carping. What shock sticks were starting to come in. That was like the oh, big thing oh, when I was shock first in because that, that was drayton again, again, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Was know, it was that a drayton thing? Yeah, the landing at handles with the. Uh, I did that. That was clattercock. Did you do that? I did. It wasn't a landing at handle. I bought a clothes peg, a clothes line prop that was hollow metal. And I put <laughs> doubled up. I, 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 it was a round length. It, I bought a brown hydro, but I doubled it up, so it was a double loop of brown hydro. Just trying to get them out. It was the most horrible thing in the world. Hooking Did you fish. catch on it? I remember catching two. What, just under, like, at fishing Do, it They like live under kid. the boards. Yeah. So you'd fish, you'd fish 20 it's not pound maximum. fish, that, is it? Oh, it was horrible. They were like, but if you thought it was going to physically pull you in. Oh, so they're like, proper yeah, pulling back it's, in. Yeah, it's pretty much you just had line in a carp. It was horrible yeah. back in the day, but yeah. Oh, yeah, we've done all of that. But, it, were, oh. I don't, it, it feels brutal, but then, like, Cy Richardson, who fishes... Um, That's Cy's standard bonus, F1 kit. That like, brown, he's right? using ridiculous <laughs> stuff. <laughs> yeah. But it just does, to be fair, if you're on it, it just gets them under control dead quick because it yeah. just kills that initial run. Yeah, sensible, pull, and done. As long as you net it first time, it comes in and it's job done. But right, the boy. Yeah. It's... <laughs> yeah, we've done that at Brookside. Like, the way we used to have kit at Brookside, honest to God, they used to right. have... Yeah, so under tension. No, Garbolino, Come on, power lead poles. Yeah. yeah. And we'd have a length of yeah. solid 22 elastic in the number one section only. And you'd hook it, you are fish in these reeds, you'd hook an F1, like a two pound F1, and you'd lift it clear. You'd lift it out the weeds, put it down the middle, and then ship back. And you could never ever unship. Yeah. Yeah, you could oh, never unbreak, so you'd snap. I, I remember that, I think it was the first festival at Lindo, Matt Pillay was it was when Beaches was like a proper snag pit on there. Yeah, he used to he was angry. doing like doubled up 20 and he was the same. You couldn't, he was trying to get us to do it. And I'd not long started match fishing at that point. He was like, yeah, just do, use this, put this top kit on and but make sure you don't yeah, break don't take down your top when, kit off. or your pole will blow up. I was like, uh, <laughs> I'll give that a miss, thanks. But it is generally but, that. You've just got to shit back and like hold it and net it. What? Because there's too much pressure on your top Yeah, you kit. just, as soon as you try and take it off, the angle oh, it just right, snapped. Okay. Oh no. It was horrible back Angry in the day. Fishing. We did, that's how we used to fish often. They were like Sanky. Uh, Connor used to fish like oh, that. Oh, yeah, Sankey with the braid. Tench. Braid and power gum and all that. Yeah, power gum through pole on it. And they dragged tench out far back. Yeah, it was just how we used to fish sometimes, right? Uh, what was the other one you were going to mention? Bradshaw's, Jay. Uh, oh, Rattler. Rattler, I remember that when it first kicked off. That'd win up Forest Lane when I'd be going. Lee Addy, Mark Addy. Like little Bobby Carps like this when there's like millions of them in there. They catch loads on it. Yeah. But they're like frame every time. So what's, a, ra what's a Rattler? It was a bubble float that. It was the ultimate self fucking rig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wasn't it? Yeah, it still worked now, wasn't it? Yeah. What, for just fishing shallow? Yeah. It's like a so bubble float. It's like a shallow with a bubble float that every time a fish ate it, it'd hook itself. So similar to that clown's nosy thing at yeah. um, Western. Yeah, exactly the same sort of thing. Even more extreme, so it'd, it'd barely go under, would it, the bubble no. float? It just, it literally, well, it'd rattle. Yeah. And then you shit back with a little diddy carp on it. It would. I think well, you banned it, didn't you? Then, yeah, because everyone sat in the water, didn't they? And just sort of like swung these carp in and just not to. Is that what they were doing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was just. But then it was like, went down to circumference of float after that, so everything was banned. I've, yeah, I've not seen it have been allowed anywhere after that. No, that must be the only yeah. place that ever happened in the Al Rattler. I don't know you yeah, anywhere yeah. else. We'll have to have a Rattler challenge. <laughs> Just get pissed on Rattler. Yes. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, that Rattler, yeah. I'd that's soon it. have a challenge on that Rattler rather than the float, Jay, lad. <laughs> yeah. yes, You've got please. to get Rattlered while using the Rattler. We're on about the Cornish Rattler, folks. Not that's like proper float. White Acres drink, isn't it? We yeah. could do it at White Acres. Yeah. Let's just go there. Rattler yeah. challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Rattled on the Rattler. Oh, amazing. Oh, yeah. what else? I, like, I want some nice funky methods to come back. I like, I used to love the keep nets. I always, I've told you about this before. I always wanted the one of them key net Safeway ones. You know the ones that like kept loads and loads of gallons of water in the bottom? Yeah. So it's uh, like the normal mesh and then the, the, the last silver two. Denim, uh, silver Centus ones like used to do that as well. Did they they really? were like solid mesh. They were, they were like, yeah. I thought you had them. No, they I had like, key I don't even think water Safeway. would get into them. They were that heavy. Oh, really? Do you know what I mean? You it's could like, put them in the water, the water would barely get in. But it's how, how we used to weigh in and everything. How we used to weigh in, Rich, is like everything, like swimming through your net, swimming through your net. Then Wait until the, the next were there. Wait until the next were there. I'm like, get yeah. them on. Right, get them weighed quick. Yeah. yeah. So you were cheating, like, basically. Yeah. No, I wasn't cheating. Right, was, call, it, call it. That, that was a... I'm sure at Todborough at the moment, that's what, like, saying about keep nets, down the edge, that's what they're doing. They're, like, laying out the nets down the edge so they can get the shallow water down it and they're fishing on top of the keep nets. I'm like, how the hell do you do that so and not hook it? On top of nets. Yeah, because I think they're quite deep down the edge on some of the lakes. I'm not sure which ones. Yeah. That they'll just like string a net out and just fish on top of it so they've got 
like 12 inch of water or whatever. I'd not hook it. I'd, I'd hook it every no time. Idea. Go on the boy. You wouldn't a lot then. He's mugged another one. He's listening to you, Jay, lad. So often, That's two we? out of two now. Was it the carb yet? Was that last one a carb? Yeah, common. Oh, that looks. Oh, yeah, that's a carb. Take your time off. Tell you what, he ships back like your dad, doesn't he? I know Just, he does. Yeah, come on. <laughs> He's coming in. Oh, I like that. I, I never knew that. I love that contraption that Pem's made. What is 83? Like, eight keep nets on it. That, yeah, the ultimate. Sure, at Monk Lakes as well, when, when they were doing silly weights on, on that. Alex. That's a proper carp. He <laughs> 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 don't, don't mess about the boy. Yeah, I think, yes, Ollie. Because there was a phase at that Monk Lakes in Kent yeah. where Sure Pre really, Preston did some nets that they did like a carp one and a silverfish one, and the silverfish one was a bit bit smaller. The silver one, yeah. So they had to put, because they'd fill one net, then put another net inside because they were running out of room on the bars. <laughs> So Seriously, it's like it's doubling stupid. up, keep. It's like when it gets like that, it's just yeah. needs to. Yeah, Pam's bar was impressive. Wasn't it? It's like really a tightrope walker's was. bar, wasn't it? It's just like <laughs> amazing. I need That's what you need, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I'll find a picture of that and put it up because that yeah, was quite, need, quite impressive. That. that was mega. Not many things you should need that for. The L10 net um, storage bar, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I love that. The DL. Yes, no, we need some daft venue. I'm trying to think of some more. There's not many other really weird methods we've seen over the years, is it? No, obviously, we've, yeah, we've done the, the purple pasty daft, haven't we? Yeah, well, we need some comments for that so we can like elaborate because there'll be some funky ones we're forgetting yes. about. Pe people are, it's going to be dead regional as well, I think. Like, so there'll be little things at certain areas that kicked off in, and yeah, there'll be oh, double the double what did they call it at Woodlands? Used to it, double dink, is it where they had two wagglers? What? Uh, was I talking about this with you or Matty or someone the other day? They used to have two wagglers. Yeah? Yeah. So you have your, your heavy waggler and then your up length and then another waggler on it like this deep. And they'd use blobs or little diddy wagglers. Who did it? I think it was Ian Fist told me about it. I don't know. Double that, dink. Mate. They do it at really? Woodlands Thirst. Or the, I don't know if they do still, but yeah. Two wagglers on. And the, the first one lands, get your weight, but then your last one's like a little beautiful little waggler. So, like a little, so you've just, got like a double plop? Yeah. So you've got your, your little bobby float and then you go, oh, right, okay. And you're the bait. Double are you on a nooking duties again? Oh, go on, Al. Come on, mate. <laughs> <laughs> He's Come on. He yeah, just sat, sat awesome, dead man. patiently with it in the water. Come on, play. <laughs> Bless. But, so, yeah, what, so beauty, just that, so fishing it? I don't know, I don't know well enough. Someone needs to elaborate on that one as well. Wood but they yeah. have two Wood anglers on. Woodlands Amazing. first, one. Yeah. See, that seems to be one of those, vet, they always do weird stuff there, like yeah, four mil pellets. And... There, I mean. That's where Nathan used yeah. to fish, so it says everything. Yeah. yeah. Hooks fell off. <laughs> but there's probably, there must be loads on naturally venues as well that we've sort of... Oh, there'll be we... proper funky ones on natural venues, won't there? Even like flat floats and things like that were, must have looked alien when they first started doing really it, wasn't they? Is there anything yeah. now yeah. that we're doing that we're going to look back on and be like, that was proper... Jiggers? Yeah, that one on the boxes there, mate. But yeah. they're not because yeah. they're efficient, but jiggers are horrendous. What, what else do we do? Hey, shallow. There's a few, isn't there? Just lots of nice methods. Yeah. I feel like we've come to an end on that one. I've come to Andrew? an end, sorry. Andrew's gabbling away. He, hang on, he's hang on. Gone fishing got... now. What are you doing? Hang on, I'm just sorting him out. <laughs> Yucks fell off. So, yeah. Yeah. Very nice random. Nice well, But I do, we want some good comments, please. Yeah. Send us some nice, lovely comments about random, eccentric methods. We need to, used. yeah, we need to do it. We could do oh, spinny yeah. wheel challenge of like, get six or eight good ones and... Yeah, that's what we want. Yeah, yeah, you need come design a challenge for us, please. Yeah, what for? Design us a challenge. Two, two random methods each. Yeah, mate. We're picking for each other that we have to do. Yeah, there you go. Nice one.